Uh, hello, welcome back to another Minecraft video and what better way to start off our video than by fixing our iron farm so what is wrong with it I actually don't know but as I said last episode which I mean I am recording this just right after the last episode um, there's no iron at all being produced and that's been for like a fairly long while and I have no clue what's happening sometimes what happens is you know the iron no iron, no iron golems spawn in for a while and then later on they spawn in, there are loads of them and then it stops etc etc um, but uh, not now for some reason, there's absolutely nothing spawning in which as you can imagine is worrying because um, yeah we have a fair amount of iron actually less than I thought um, but I do really want to start using that I do want to um, actually you know have a really stable source of uh, income for iron so I can start making my projects so this video isn't actually going to be me fixing my iron farm because I already spent a very long time doing that it's just for a video it's going to be a far larger project and for that I will require or well, not necessarily but make it far easier to have a fair bit of iron so where's my food I have no food so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, chicken <coughs> I have food now Hey, I didn't get poisoned. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to bring you along and just show you the mechanics of my own farm in case you didn't catch it last time, and then hopefully um, we'll fix it. So uh, four steak won't really be enough. Let's take fifteen. Um, I will show you why later. But uh, let's just say uh, it is not it's in itself a low risk enterprise because there is a zombie in full armor, even though that wouldn't actually do anything. Um, as in the armor doesn't really matter whether he has armor or not. Sorry, donkey. Um, we have a uh, zombie in full armor, just rolling around, happy as he can be. So, as you can see, we are. I'm going up there. This is my um, iron, tran iron uh, my zombie rather transport system. As you can see, the zombie does seem quite content going round and round um, which is kind of uh, good I can't actually access him from here can I okay alright well luckily I have made myself a mechanism for getting up there let me just do that quickly so we have a little spot where I put down gravel and then I can easily break it again let me just get the gravel first Playing on minimized window because sometimes I feel a little sick after playing um, for a while, so that's why. I mean, you probably shouldn't notice it, but I I'm not too sure. Also, what you also aren't noticing is lag. There's no lag at all, which I'm actually really happy about. I'm at a around about 120 frames per second. Actually, this isn't my thing. I'm around about 120 frames per second, so maybe I should upload the video in you know. 4k 120 frames per second just like just to be extra even though the video file will be probably hundreds of gigabytes large then it'll take a few days to upload that onto youtube but just to have the excellent quality for those few people who have you know 120 hertz actually do you need to have a 120 hertz monitor either way i'm just talking um just messing around okay so what i'm going to try and do to fix this is um make the zombie come closer I actually like like I said I fully don't know what is wrong with this um it could really I mean, like I said I don't know but I can try and fix it okay so this zombie has a helmet so oh dear nope e you know what that does actually make it easier to work with let me actually put this onto full screen okay this does actually make it easier um, to work with just because... Oh, it's night time. It's going to be night time. Where's my actual pickaxe? Oh, there it is. Um, because I won't need to worry about a zombie going all over the place, you know, about who, whether he's going to hit me or not. Because one hit from the zombie, I'm landing straight in the lava, and there goes my pick, which I should probably put away. Because, like I said, if I trip and I fall into the lava, um, it won't be good. So... Let me see, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to extend the track a little bit and then I'm going to then, because I was going to just extend it and then uh, 
make it this extend from how the track is but now since the zombie is dead I don't need to do that however now I think about it I will need to get a zombie with a helmet which can be a bit difficult although then again I think because it's hard difficulty there are loads of zombies with helmets but I'm not too sure okay no no, no let's, let's break this I know I can use a pickaxe there okay so how it goes this 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 no, 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 let's not do that. Here, 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 here. Up. This. Here and here. Here, here, here. And let's break all unnecessary blocks. Which I think this one. This is very, very risky. This one, there we go. And, okay. That is fine because um, that is where the actual zombie will be falling down from. So once I get him up there on the transportation system, that is where it's going to be falling down from. Okay, that is good. So essentially the zombie will be coming quite close to the villagers. Be saying hi. And uh, scaring the villagers. And hopefully they start spawning in iron golems again. Let me break this and this. Now, it's actually good that it's night time now because that means there's less delay on me getting a new zombie. But like I said, a few requisites now for the zombie. He needs to have a helmet of any sort, it doesn't really matter. And he needs to be holding something artificial in his hands. Something that I gave him rather something that he just normally spawned with. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, you can see there, that's from my previous adventures. I'm going to just break the grass, get some seeds or some flowers. And the zombie, if, that pick, if it picks up, will hold it and won't despawn. Okay. Alright, I think that is good enough for the track. So as you can see, it goes all the way around, up, down, etc. Now, does he come too close to the villagers on this side? I'm going to play it safe and say yes. So, let us... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. One, two, three. One, 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 one. Okay. And this, 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 this. Any unnecessary blocks. Well, oh dear. Oh, any unnecessary blocks need to be broken. Oh look, there's a zombie. With a helmet. Okay. You know what, I might actually get that zombie now. But I'm not too sure. Okay, hopefully he doesn't despawn because I'm in the near vicinity. Because you never know, there's, the villagers might start recognizing that there's a zombie nearby and then they start spawning in an iron golem and it spawns in somewhere I don't want it to spawn and then it's awkward. So let's play it safe. Let's, well, let's break this, 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 and this. Okay, but like I said, because it's hard, there's actually a fair bit of zombies spawning in with helmets. Well, I think that's, or at least that's what I think um, is how it's determined. Obviously, with it's hard, they're harder mobs. <laughs> good drop, good drop. Okay, now we have two zombies coming in. There's one here, and is the other one coming in? Nope, okay. Ah, there's a creeper as well. Oh man. Okay. Where's the zombie with the, the zombie with the head again? What? He's gone. Oh no, no. Okay. Well, I mean, these zombies aren't really much use to me. They need to have a helmet on. I don't really want to make one for them. This is, he has a uh, an item, but like I said, like they really need to be holding a helmet because um, otherwise they'll die when the track goes out. Okay. Okay. No kitty, no, oh man, that is bad. How dare you? This is quite fine. Okay, right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make the zombie a helmet. I should have enough leather to make this like a leather helmet. Then he should survive with just a leather helmet. Let me get a helmet, where's my leather, where's my leather? Okay, it's kind of annoying because I did not want to start off the episode this way. I had other plans. What was actually enchanted here? Fire protection one, breaking two, you know. The skeletons 
and zombies, etc. They are better decked out than I am. Like, okay. All right, then. Let me get a, another minecart. And let me just put this stuff back. I don't need it for now. Of course, later on, we might very well need it. Um, but this here, this here. Okay. Right, where's the zombie who was holding something? Okay. Right, can I sleep? Because I would rather actually set up the whole thing than try to rush both things at once. Can I sleep? Yes, I can. Good, good. Alright. That means... What I'm going to do over the next day, as in Minecraft day, I'm going to set up both uh, the iron farm. Oh, he missed. Hey! Okay, there's a creeper as well. I noticed. Yep. Bye. Of course, another good thing is that any zombies left will have helmets. So I can get zombies that way. Um, creepers, come on, man. Oh, there is actually a zombie hiding in those uh, trees, so I might actually, uh, okay. okay, hiding those trees, so I might give her a um, present. Zombie, ah, oh, zombie idiots, okay, yeah, he's going to die now. <sighs> okay, okay, well, uh, it's lost. He could have survived had he been slightly smarter. But as it turned out, he wasn't. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do then basically now is I'm going to um, set this up. So see when I finish. Okay, so I've set up everything here. I'm just waiting for night time in order to get the zombies. But now it's time to do what actually I wanted to do during this episode, which is... Well, I'm not going to actually say just yet, but it's going to be a huge project and one that should be very fruitful for a multitude of reasons. Now, well, first of all, I need to clear a fairly large area, and that's why I bought two shovels. And I want that area to be clear, like I said, and also fairly large, like I said, and also flat. With uh, when I say flat, I mean there's a flat area, but also I don't want any blocks beside it which are higher than the actual area. And also the area needs to be well lit up as well, but I can do that easily later on. So, let me just do that, and hopefully soon will be night time, and that means we can obviously get the zombie and the iron farm going again, hopefully. Um, that's what I hope will happen. Whether it actually will happen, I have no clue. Okay, right. I also brought along some fences. I wanted to make nether brick fences just because... Uh, they are quite cool, or any of the brick walls. Um, I think, well, I mean, it would be kind of funny um, what I'm building to have uh, these fences, or walls, I mean, whatever you call them. So I thought, you know, I might as well have loads of nether wrappers lying around, but it turns out I don't actually have as much nether wrappers as I thought, because um, I have uh, 30 of this, which isn't too much. To be honest, this is actually quite large. Now that is um, 18 across. So let's uh, do this. It would be nice to have it a square shape. Okay, that's all. So I need basically around about the same amount again. Which luckily I have a fair bit of nether axe melting. So that should all be good. Now, as you can see, it's now night time. And here's Jeb. Hi Jeb. Is his name? Okay, his name's still there. But. As you can see, it's night time now, or nearly night time, so I want to get my zombie and my iron farm going. So I have obviously the leather cap, which hopefully the zombie will accept and put on his head. But I have, I have no clue. Right, this is going to be large enough for what I want. I actually don't really know. Thing is... Hmm... Okay, well, I mean, it'll be fairly, fairly easy to get netherrack, and I can simply just get more, smelt more, make more walls. Um, I can extend this through here, over through here, round here. I can even extend it into the water, or partially into the water. Okay. 
now what I'm doing is just waiting for zombies to appear. Oop, is that one there? Or is that a skeleton? No, that's a zombie. Cool, so that zombie already seems to have his iron cap, so no need for any extra um, stuff apart from just picking up. Please, can you hold something, please? Can you hold something, please? Okay, well, one of the zombies held something. You! Aha! Good, he has a rose. Now, of course, the tactic is now. If. Okay. Loads of them will need to die. <laughs> like. But I want, obviously, the zombie that I want to be in full health already. So. And. Actually, wait, where's my axe? Nah, the axe is, isn't. Okay. Hi. Oh, no, I don't want the sweeping edge attack. Or sweeping attack. Ah, he's. Uh, he's alone. Okay, so as you can see, this is what I had to deal with on a regular basis when, ouch, when making my farm. In a hard difficulty, zombies do pack a big punch. Okay, come on, come on. Why can't you just die? I did. Oh, now I'm lagging. Okay. Get some separation. Of course, if it's it just zombies I wanted to kill, I would kill them easily. But I want to have some separation so I don't kill all. Okay, cool, good, good, good. Alright, sorry, zombie. Okay, that's right. I, I just. Ah, not a zombie, baby. Oh no, I hate them. I die. Come on, man. I nearly have you. <sighs> this is far too stressful. What? Everything's coming here now. Okay, okay, okay. Right, you know what? There's a very simple solution to this. I can simply just go to sleep and the zombie that I want will still be alive and have wouldn't have any spawn. And all the spiders will be fine, the creepers I don't know but like oh, wait, what's the, oh that's my horse. Okay, so hopefully I can sleep. <sighs> that is unfortunate. Hey. Okay, sleep, 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 here we go, sleep. Phew. Cool. Cool, now I sleep and hopefully that zombie will still be alive yep there he is happy holding his rose then I will put him onto the cart come on you die first okay unlucky okay zombie's still with me cool okay there is a creeper okay the creeper is looking kind of mean so I'm gonna unlucky creeper oh, are you serious nope go away Okay, so hopefully, there we go, excellent, excellent, and hopefully he took minimum damage as well, and you can, as you can see he's going up, and up, okay, and he is not where I want him to be currently, which is fine, now the trick is with zombies, what you do is you push them, but in order for them, not, like, for you not to take damage, you've also, uh, uh, hold light, uh, hold right click to use your shield. Now I can just push him along without taking any damage. I mean, of course, my shield loses durability. Okay. Of course, need to sort out the water stuff later. But oh, come on, come on, come on. Why can't I? That is very awkward. Okay, well, this works, I suppose. And push, and push, and push, no, onto the, into the hole. Are you serious? How is this already? Ouch, oh, ouch. And there goes some of my armor. Okay. Right, before I continue anything else, I'm going to make some more armor. Which is annoying because it means I lose yet more of my valuable iron supply. Okay. Sorry that I have to watch this. I, I wanted to get going with my actual plan for the episode. But it seems that won't happen yet. Right. Okay. No, I want that. Okay. I might as well smell this as well. Okay. As you can tell, I... I'm kind of used to having this much trouble with my iron farm. I mean, this farm and the chicken farm have been virtually no trouble at all but of course it has to be my first farm and the most elaborate and the most useful one 
that is just difficult. And even though the thing that's being difficult now, I like the zombie not going onto the track, is my fault because all the time before I put like a block high in the back of the rail cart. So currently, where the zombie is sitting, there'll be another block on top. What's that? Oh, and what? What the? Where's his helmet? Hey, take the helmet. Oh no! Oh hi. I, I I wouldn't go there if I were you. Okay, you don't have anything valuable, so that's fine. Oh, ah, e. Ooh, 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 ah, ooh. Okay. Wait, I didn't even get that. Okay. Right. I think the zombie's dead, not gonna lie, because he was taking damage. Um, so I think what that means is yet more work to be done on uh, the iron farm. Okay, so I'll see you when I actually get it ready. Well, first let me see if the zombie's actually dead. I'm um, actually he isn't because I keep hearing the water. As in him stop. Oh, wait, he's wearing the helmet now. Haha, <laughs> good job, zombie, good job. Hey, okay. Right. Oh, please. Okay, just get into the. Okay. Push, push, push. Come on, zombie. There we go. Right, obviously, I will sort out um, how he falls later on. First, one I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up. Like that. Like that. This is very important because the only spawnable blocks. I don't know whether they can iron games and spawn on actual um, rail carts, but it doesn't seem that they do. But the only spawnable blocks I want are here, and then the water pushes them down. So I can't have anything else. They just land in the water. Right at this point, in order to actually push the zombie, let me just rearrange. Actually push the zombie, I will need to actually access up there. So I need more gravel. And some probably more netherrack as well. It's very awkward because this is 100% not what I wanted to start off my episode doing. But either way, it's content. Uh, okay. Hopefully, 22 rubble is enough. But I did not collect the rubble from down there. So I'm quite happy with my sheep farm because it's not only is like a functioning working farm, unlike some farms, I just lost a load of gravel. Um, but also, you know, it looks nice. Look at this. Actually, looks quite good. Uh, I'm proud of that. It shows that I am not a trash player. Which, uh, I mean, after having been playing just now, kind of is a surprise. Let me do this so then it is easy for me to take it back up. Although, then again, I also probably don't have enough blocks. Okay, do I have cobblestone? I have a very small amount of cobblestone. Is that enough? Hopefully. One. Okay. I don't think I used this in the most efficient manner, so I'm going to try and get a. Uh, what do you call it? Another rack? No, I lost it. Okay. Well, I guess uh, wool. What will be the final? Are you serious? Yeah, I can, I can just do this. Okay. Right now, I need to push a zombie, so I will actually need a block. So let me do this. Let me right hold. Okay, and push. Now, I just felt a lag spike, and I hope that's an iron uh, going spawning in. But then again, I didn't hear anything. You would usually hear a dong, dong. Um, so I sincerely hope. Uh oh. Why did he take damage? Oh, okay, insane parkour. Now, unfortunately, nothing's happening. Are the, are the villagers not looking at the zombie or. 
I mean, to be honest, at this point, I am going to leave that be. I'm going to work on the next project that I have. Now, what is the next project, you might ask? Well, um, we'll see. But uh, I already got the first step in the way in actually uh, defining boundaries for it. Soon we'll uh, move on from that. We'll. Uh, wait one second, now. Okay. Um, we will. Uh, okay. We'll go further. Oh, and I'm good. Wait, it's working. That is good news. That is good news. And now, if I hit this, it should be like, hey, what are you doing? Then come towards me. No, go into the water. Oh no, please. No, 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 no. I can't afford to fight a lion golem today. Hey, hey. What's wrong? Okay, he's fast. But he's not good at parkour, is he? Yeah, unlucky man, it happens, it happens. Oh, oh, oh man, that sucks, it sucks to be you. Alright, no more I'm going to spawn again. But I've got two, so hopefully I'll continue to spawn. Where's the zombie? Are you serious? Has a zombie been killed? I, I hear something. Have I even collected that iron that fell? Okay, I did. Okay. So what I do know is that it started to work, but I have no idea where, why it's not working anymore. It could just be being slow, but I also didn't see a zombie travelling. Which is worrying. Where's the zombie? Are you serious? He's been killed. <sighs> okay, well, once sorted out, I'll go back. Okay, to so I finally tried to like proof the iron farm just so nothing at all happens. It keeps on working. So as you can see, obviously I have this large thing here, the block. So zombie just falls right in, goes onto here. I've slightly redone this so it's lower down. So hopefully. Um, the, oh, the villagers can see well now I realize there are slabs there and I don't know how it works with seeing the villagers seeing the zombie slabs but I think this should be an okay height if not we can always work on it and the slabs are here basically two things to to stop any sunlight from reaching a zombie I try to get a zombie with a helmet but I don't know and also to uh, stop any iron golems spawning onto the tracks. So I never had any iron golems actually spawning on the tracks but they can't spawn on slabs so we have those here. Now like I said I don't know how it will work. Actually I can test out whether it can work or not. You can see I'm kind of like force being uh yeah I'm not gonna lie I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure whether the um uh, whether the uh Zombies are always able to see the villagers and vice versa. Well, I think this is mostly vice versa. But like I said, we will work on it. They were able to see villagers at a particular point, which is the most important point when they're closest to the villagers. But other than that, I'm not too sure. Of course, we will test it out. Hopefully, we'll start spawning in iron, uh, iron golems and everything can go well. So let me just put this down before we have any problems with any skeletons. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know whether the sound effects were necessary, but you know, it makes it exciting. As if I'm fighting an epic battle. Right, let me eat. Okay, cool. I've eaten or eat either one. Okay. Cool. Now we need to wait for zombies again. Skeletons, which I don't really like, you know, I'm not too big a fan of skeletons. But, uh, oh, skeletons and three creepers. So that is a definite no no. A spider. Oh, 
Okay, got a string. Let's place it down. Why I don't know. Okay, there are no zombies so far that I can see. A skeleton with boots, but that's not what I really want. Loads of skeletons, creepers. Boundaries looking good. Uh, this will need to be larger now. I think about it. We need to be far larger. Ah, a zombie. Um, the other side of where I need him to be. Let's see whether he even sees me. Hey. Oh, there is a zombie in armor. Come on. Okay, we have one zombie. Come on, zombie. Alright, let's try throwing stuff at him first. Come on. Is he going to pick anything up? I don't know. The seed did disappear, but I'm not sure with who. Okay. Yeah, I'll just kill you. Come on. Come on, zombie. Come on. Okay. Come on, zombie. Chop, chop. Why? Why have I chosen the furthest away zombie? Come on, let me get flowers. Okay. Zombie. Get on the... Are you serious? There we go. Good, good. Pick something up. Oh dear. Are you serious? Is one of the zombies that won't pick anything up? There's a skeleton as well. Ah, are you serious? Come on, zombie! Are you just pick it up? Pick up anything? It's so frustrating. Okay, you're no useless to me. That zombie with the sword as well is also useless to me because he'll despawn. Okay. There's another zombie. Hi, zombie. Pick something up to me, please. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Cool, cool. You see, here's the thing. The zombie, you might think it's cool tracking the zombies like this, but the zombie otherwise would die. Zombie. Thank you, zombie. Oh, let me just... Uh... Oh, oh dear. That's not good. Guess we'll have to wait for the... There we go. Cool. I need to block this. Thankfully, my shield has loads of durability still. There we go. Cool. And the zombie should now fall right into the water thing. I don't know if that's the correct term or not. Onto the tracks. It's not the water thing at all. And now, hopefully, I can do this. Block up this. Do this. Do this. Do this. This, 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 this. Okay, and not everything else is this. Okay, cool. And now I can drop onto here. Please. Oh, I, I need to. I need to go on that block here that I've specifically left to push a zombie. Okay, and now I push a zombie. Wait, wrong button. Okay. Okay, push, push. Okay. Okay, they are definitely noticing the zombie. Because you can see that from when they were sleeping and there aren't any more. So I'm going to go to sleep and hopefully... Oh dear. I'm going to try and go to sleep. It might not work out. Oh no. Okay. Well, I can work on something else later. No iron games are spawning in, which is kind of boring. Okay. Well, I'll see you when um well when it's morning okay so excellent news if you just course it quickly the iron farm is finally working although it's not at a fast rate of speed that's probably because the visibility of the villages is impaired so essentially i now know what i'm going to fix if um basically the iron farm stops working again i might just um, 
mess around with those slabs a little bit there, here and there. So, on to our actual project for today, which I know I keep saying, I've uh, said this a um, number of times. Uh, this is going to be a secret though. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, like I was doing before, like finding a nice area, nice flat area to uh, just make boundaries on. So we currently have 18 by 12 here. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then one. Doesn't matter about this. Two, three, four, five, and because, okay, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I have loads more bricks, so I'm gonna actually, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna chop, first of all, chop these two trees down, and I might extend it a little bit further, just because I have loads of uh, loads of bricks. And all I need technically is 18. So I can extend these two strands. Actually no, I need, no, I need 16. Sorry, there's, there's maths there, and I'm not explaining the maths um, well at all. But, essentially, because I have a few spare walls, I can uh, basically I can extend this a little bit further. Of course, I need to um, fill this out. But I can extend this a little bit further, and I only need 16 um, wall pieces to fill out the final uh, edge. So I can extend it, I believe, by seven on each side, which is good. I'll do that then, and uh, yeah. I'll see you when I have it. Okay, so just as a quick like side note, as you saw from yesterday's video, which at the moment is literally just uploading right now as I speak, um, I made a bit of an oopsie. I'm farm is working by the way, which is great. But I made a bit of an oopsie when making my sheep farm. Now, essentially, what it is, uh, what I was doing is I wanted some wool, and I came in. I thought, you know, I'll just go collect some uh, wool, and then I saw one of my sheep were actually. Um, producing wool. So doing some research, they require in order to regrow their wool um, sunlight or light above them and also grass, so teak grass. So I left this example here for you. Um, there was no grass and I think, oh yeah, there was a red block on top before and there was no light. So essentially I had to rethink of a system to uh, basically ensure that I was getting wool. And you can imagine I, well, you can see I made a system which is far more efficient and really good than this one I am probably proud of So I did converted all of them apart from the last one just so I can show you as an example So essentially what it is is I haven't done this look properly yet, but as you can see all of this is grass There's glass, not here because I just wanted, to, as in there is glass here But this isn't, actually I suppose it does count as light enough to grow grass But I put the colored wool in here, but you can see there's grass here The grass um, essentially goes on to where the sheep are standing the sheep eat it and they get shared immediately and the basically I have here a minecart with a hopper it goes round and round collects everything that is on these blocks so that included yes yeah, so you can see like I dropped a hopper here but it collects everything in these blocks that's wool etc oh and there's another one and it then deposits the minecart, the hopper deposits it into the hopper and that puts it into this chest. So, all in all, it's a very efficient system. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, and the iron farm is working, like I said. And hopefully, uh, yeah, I'll rejoin you when I get some headway into some other stuff. Okay, so, as you are about to see, I have built myself, like, a little area over here. Very nice, I cleared it out, made it level, etc. And... Now I'm going to tell you what I'm actually going to do. So I'm going to be making a village in my area over here. Because my closest village is quite uh, far away. Well, it's not actually that far away, but it's still relatively far away. And also I want to have like a special thing where I have special villages for each um, uh, job. And also I want to make it so that I transform them into zombie villages and back again from zombie villages. And that essentially means that their trades are very good. So what I'm going to be do doing now is I'm going to be going to the village. Oh, not this way. And as you can see, I made loads of rail carts. So this is basically so then I can easily transform the villages back home. Now let me just... Uh, okay, you know what? I'll sort my inventory out later. So, oh, 
gems are going all the way there. Okay. So as you can see, the village where as you're about to see the village isn't there's a ravine here. The village isn't too too far away. So it is I believe in this direction. Come on, horse. In this direction over here. Up uh, this mountain. See this is good that I have a horse for this because otherwise it would be kind of slow. Come on, horsey. Okay, don't do it then. Okay, so it is in this direction, but it might be easier for me to go through here. Yep, come on. Let me just, actually now I want to increase my um, range. So as you can see, it's, um, I thought it was really far, but it turns out actually that um, it's, what? I can hear my horse, but it's not here. This is not the glitch. All these glitches, okay. So the village isn't too far away. It's just um, it is fairly far away. And now the reason I know it's not too far away is because before oh, there's my horse. Before when I tried to get villages from here into uh, my own golden farm or my own farm, uh, essentially I used the same nether portal. So I made nether portal over there in the village, and when I teleported through the nether portal, it went straight into my uh home nether portal so that means that its range is i don't know whether it's 150 or 250 boxes probably not 150 because that's quite short and most definitely the village isn't that close but it's fairly close so you can see there's my nether portal also have like the boat system etc right so what i will need is two villages just two um you'll soon see why because i don't really need any more come on horsey over here i'll come back for you i promise I also might need a bell as well, so I will take that. So, did I bring a boot? Hmm. I'm a fool. I did not bring a boot. Actually, wait, I don't need to make the boot just quite yet. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to build my rail cart system, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so what I realize is, after doing some maths, I actually, funnily enough, do not have enough railway tracks and not only that, it's not actually worth it to make a huge railway system up over there into my um, house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did before and simply just uh, take a boat and uh, get some villagers through the other portal into my house. Now let me just... Thank you. Um, now I only really need two villagers, which is why um, I'm going to do that because... Um, okay, where's my home? Nope, that's... Nope. I only need two villages, which is why I'm not going to do the nether, uh, the railway track, just because I can read them at my house and then we can go on from my plan there. Oh, nope, not this way. Oh, no. See, sometimes a horse is just not, the not, not worth the effort. Okay, let's go this way then, through the plains. So, yeah, um, obviously I have my history with getting villages across um, large parts of the world. Um, especially when, well, in fact, only when I was doing my iron farm. That was quite tough, I'm not going to lie. But hopefully this uh, will be a worthwhile thing. This is, I don't know how it ranks in terms of worthwhileness compared to the iron farm, but it will definitely be, you know, a good adventure. Um, something that's good investment. I can do loads of trading. I can also, this is another one of my plans, do uh, the raid easier in the using a village that I already made myself because I believe raids can also count if you uh, basically if you uh, make your own village and then you can set up a raid from there so that's the plan as well because doing defense of a proper village is um, quite tough because you need to well I mean the train might not be nice might not be optimum and then you know, you can get trapped easily and then different mobs, etc. There's too much to think about. So, this is why it's good that I am uh, making my own village here. Of course, it's not yet a village. And I will have to decorate it a little bit, etc. But that, that comes later. Come on, come on, horse. Get out of the way, horse. But that comes later. So, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to get um, a couple of boots. A couple of boots. I can't speak today. And I will, uh, yeah, set up my village. Let me just make a 
entrance points first of all. Okay, I also need to somehow find a way to, as you know I do, I already know of a way to uh, stop the visitors from escaping, but I'll work on that later. Okay, so yeah. currently what I'm doing now is I'm going back into my world, oh dear. Um, I think the villagers are trying to make their way back to their village and I'm lagging so I can't let that happen obviously um, because they are now my villagers sorry mate okay let's get to him as well oh of course I lagged and I glitched let's try again now hopefully I believe they're going back to their profession so from my previous experience what happened is as oh, why am I lagging now okay hey okay again so from my previous experience what happened happens is um, uh, once they become unemployed they stop wanting to go back to the village which is it's kind of annoying that oh, come on man no nope. why is he being difficult then again I have just kidnapped him but where, where is he okay that's not even the way to your village but you can have a new village okay now obviously because boats can't go up blocks so need to find a way to um the village the area of course if it becomes night time to go to sleep straight away because villages are really vulnerable now like i said i do want them to become zombie villages but not yet first of all i want them to breed and uh, have well i have 12 golden apples 13 but i can make 12 potions of weakness so i assume i want 12 but that is a, quite a large number um 12 zombie villages zombies villages this for breeding purposes that will be difficult also need to research again how to breed them so i believe because the last time i like i remember you needed to do stuff with doors now it's more of a um, go around this way now it's more of a uh beds and if they're enough beds and they have enough food etc etc so i have food i have beds you can see in that chest i have um 16 beds so i'll place down the bed etc that will all be done that will be sorted anyway uh, i have my first villager for some reason my computer is just not like me today i have no other processes running i believe okay let me just uh, i'll sort that out let me just uh, get my other villager who is there Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'll return to you once I have started the village breeding process, etc., and I'm ready to uh, do stuff. And I went down a block. When? Wait. Can I, can I afford to do that? I don't think I can. Okay. Okay. Well, so I believe I have everything required to start the villagers off breeding. So first of all, I'm going to put in like a meeting point with the bell. Um. I don't. I mean. That bell mechanic as well, I need to fix it later, but that's when I actually have a proper village with buildings, etc. So as you can see, the village is now going. Now I think if he, from what I heard, if he doesn't return to his actual boundary within a few minutes, then he will forget that he ever is in a boundary, or was in his original village. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a few beds, and essentially what's going to happen is, once the villagers uh, realise that um, there are more beds than required, they will start breeding. Now there is another mechanic as well which is their willingness and so for that they need um, amongst other things or can be other things but three beds so one two three pick that up please one two three four okay no no no, no. that's not for you okay one two three four can you pick that up please he only picked two didn't he luckily I brought myself some hay so I can make a loads more bread if they so require. Okay. Cool, okay. So right now they should be willing. Now the thing is I have more valid beds than necessary. And you can see here I have like a chest full of beds. However, I have no clue how the mating tank works. I'm gonna look in the thing tutorial wiki housing breeding and population camp okay well let me research a little bit and then we'll see oh boys here we oh one second my mic my 
I was just trying to mess around, trying to get them to breed, and finally you can see the love heart animation is happening. It is happening. We now have um, yes, a third one. It's excellent. That is excellent. Now, obviously, uh, it's going to take us a while to get to the amount that we actually need. However, like I said, I do have a plan. So, what we're going to do is actually let's make some more bread. Uh, let's get, uh, this. Okay, it's 12 pieces of bread. Can that small villager pick it up? Yes, okay. So, of course, we're going to have to do some... Uh, never mind, this is a PG channel. But everyone needs some bread. Because uh, I don't think it replenishes, or doesn't replenish after breeding. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you the plan for the villagers, what's going to happen to them. So, essentially, what I have in my house is let me just show you down here I'm gonna turn up the brightness in here I have my potion making stuff and I have some splash potion of weakness not quite enough yet but of course I'll make some more now what that's for is because if you turn a zombie villager into a villager then you get a huge bonus in trading as in it's quite a large discount so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be doing that and so essentially once I have a fair few villages I think one for each job and then afterwards I can start just like building a village itself but once I have um, a few villages I'm going to get in the zombie he's going to kill them all so the more into zombie villages because this is hard difficulty and then I'm going to splash potion of weakness them I have a few golden apples in there as well turn them all back into villages and hopefully we should have fair few villagers now also let me just check my chest this has been working excellently literally amazingly see the minecart there this is like oh as you can see there's some wall here as me shared and the minecart went over it it went into here and here so you can see look at how much wall i have you know obviously different colors have more and then for some reason it doesn't all stack properly together etc but look at that um, quite happy of this farm it works perfectly this is literally perhaps the slickest I've ever done like even when I test stuff out in creative mode like it doesn't work as well as this and this is all stuff I did like worked out myself this is my own design um, I'm far oh no are you serious where did the zombie go okay I'll just sort that out the iron farm also um, worked until just now so obviously i want to sort out the iron farm so then i can uh, get some more iron it's a quick side note something that hasn't been working as well is my chicken farm and i think that's because i used uh glass panes instead of glass just normal glass oh come on no 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 we have an infestation but you know what that could actually work out actually so i'm gonna just break out all of this now the reason it's gonna work out is because uh essentially since um, uh, the chickens can't escape, oh dear, okay, I need to fix that. The chickens can't escape, so I'm just going to uh, essentially, well, I said essentially, wait, wait many times, just gonna keep them here, get rid of eggs, uh, kill them, and then, oh, sorry, filter the dispenser, um, fill the dispenser again. So that should be good, okay. Okay, so we have now four villages, which is good. So thankfully yet another one of my uh, great plans is working. Now let's feed some more. Come on, bread, 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 bread. Take bread. Take bread. Okay. Now of course uh, we need to ensure that there are enough beds. So I'm going to take, put out the beds. Now one problem with my amazing plan is that they might spawn in an iron golem, so in which case I will need to think carefully about what I'm going to do with that. That's when, once the um, zombie comes in, they might think, oh, iron golem time. Um, which we'll see. Um, I'll see how I'm going to sort that out, but, uh, yeah. Oh, look, it's Jeb. Okay, so, for some unknown reason, I was just AFK and I heard a villager, like, <coughs> you know, it died. So, 
we have a zombie villager now. Now, I was going to end the episode here, but this will be a good time to, you know, test out the waters a little bit. Let me just uh, empty out my inventory. It's raining and it's night time. Oh dear. How do they know I'm here? Like... Okay, that is very annoying. And there's my door. Um, help, help, send help, please. I'm being sieged. Yeah, you don't actually like. Just grab my door. Okay. So as you can see, there's that zombie villager. Wait, is that a zombie? Which zombie villager is that? Either way, I'm gonna um, attempt to give him a little something something I'll hopefully turn him into something I can use <laughs> See, this is basically how it is in Minecraft you know you seal the resource nope you seal the oh no <laughs> I'm so done. I've been playing this game for a long time and I barely had any sleep today so that was that um, so yeah essentially what I'm going to be doing now is transforming that villager that zombie villager, where is he? Ah, here we go. Ah. Mm. Ah. Okay. No peace. Ah, come on, man. What did he Okay. This, I'm kind of in a tough spot here. So where's my dog? I believe my dog's around here. Yes, he is. I think he scares away... Uh... Wait, where's the... Wait. Did they kill the zombie villager? Oh, they fully did. The idiots. You die as well. Boom. Uh -huh. That's right. They don't even know who to attack anymore. Ow. Oh wait. Oh, Ooh, that was hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm about to die. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Are the villagers still there? Are they all zombie villages? The villages are all good. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, this episode took... Wait, one second. One, two... Okay, I think that's uh, how many I had to begin with. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is probably going to be like a two or three part series just because it is long. I didn't realise how long building a village is, but... The whole plan is okay, I'm going to turn them into zombie villages, like I said. Try to get the good... Um, good trades then I'm gonna get um, the professions going so these okay okay I did think they were nitwits but it just turns out this is the um, I was just looking at their green hat I thought they had the green robes nitwits are basically useless because they can't uh, can't take on a profession um, but essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to hello is I'm going to um, uh, build as well a village so I'm probably going to have like a ground floor, second floor, third floor, and so on. So this is farmland, and then professions, etc. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, please leave a like and share, etc, etc. And hope to see you soon. This is like a huge undertaking. Also, something else that's kind of annoying is that, the, the, like, the zombie died again. I don't know how. But of course, I'll sort that out um, as well. Let me just check as how many um, uh, wool I have. Okay, lots. And also my chicken farm um, under repairs as well. So let's see how that's going. So this is obligatory because this is like a, a running uh, project. You can probably hear the chickens. Oh dear. Is it time to kill? I think it is time to kill. Okay. Let me not, not with this sword. I have a better sword for this purpose. I'm getting out the big boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now I need to return a few things. Let me just make space. Sorry. I should have ended the episode ages ago. Uh, let's keep that. Okay. I don't know how I'm emptying out my inventory. This is the this, 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 this. Okay. 
also, as a good buy, you can see me slaughter a whole lot of chickens. Yeah, this is fun. This is exactly the content I wanted to make. Bang. You can see that, that big sweeping edge attack. I want to get sweeping edge 3, but apparently putting that enchanting book on is too expensive. Because I also have like sharpness 3 on it. So, mm. the knockback as well they go flying back you're not allowed in there okay so essentially I think I was leaking I was in the loads of chickens everywhere and also eggs etc which like chickens like just being around is like okay fine I'll just kill them but eggs and stuff that's just a waste of resources and look at all of this that's because my drop is actually um, not working, as in not connected yet. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I want that torch. Hope you enjoyed and see you soon. Goodbye.